I would like to thank my colleagues for beginning the work on this legislation. However, as the legislation stands currently, I'm unable to support it. These bills have absolutely no reason for being in our society. In every professional trade, there's an instructional period that takes place when someone learns to use a tool. Carpenters use hammers, and hammers are tools, but they can also be weapons. But before these carpenters go off to work, they learn how to use the hammer. They learn that they can break bones and hinder projects with one single stroke. Drivers operate vehicles. Vehicles are modes of transportation, but vehicles can also be weapons. But before these drivers go on the road, they learn how to operate the vehicle. And in, that in a matter of seconds, they can take a life. Then we have firearms. And as the law currently stands, there is some training associated with the handling of a weapon if you would like to conceal it. The purpose of the class is to show you how incredibly difficult it is to make a split-second decision. Now, proponents of this change will say that they're standing up for the freedom of people to exercise their constitutional Second Amendment rights. But what about the freedom of people to live their lives, to be secure, and to not have to deal with the fear of gun violence? What about the young black and brown man, man like me, who are killed every day? And as a young black man who has to read articles in the newspaper and have to see clips on social media and hear interviews on the radio about senseless gun deaths that happen in neighborhoods like mine and yours, near and far across our state and others, my question is why does one right take priority over another? Should another mother have to bury her child because of a tragedy that occurred because of irresponsible and untrained handling of a firearm? And as for the argument that the government should get out of the way of this process, that is an absolute mischaracterization of our government's role in this equation. It is the primary responsibility of the government to make sure that its citizens are safe. And not only do I believe in that role, I take part in it. Years ago, I became a cadet in the Army ROTC program, and now I'm a member of the Army National Guard, and I also belong to the Inkster Police Auxiliary. And as a member of the Michigan Army National Guard and a cadet in the Army ROTC program, I learned how to assemble, disassemble, zero, and qualify with a plethora of firearms. And as a member of the Inkster Auxiliary Police Department, I've learned how to properly recognize, handle, disarm, and store a number of weapons. So to completely eliminate the safety aspect is a slap in the face of my brothers and sisters in blue and in the military to say that just anyone can carry a loaded firearm anytime, anywhere, and with no training and with no license. So I stand in solidarity with the law enforcement community and their opposition to this legislation. And I urge my colleagues in this chamber to take your responsibility to ensure the safety and the well-being of your constituents into consideration and to vote no on these bills. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.